Second, uh, I'm sure a number of you have uh, been reading in the media about uh, the report from UNCTAD uh, that, uh, of under-invoicing uh, by South Africa Gold. Um, I'm not suggesting that uh, there is no under-invoicing in South Africa Gold. But the material importance of this point is that uh, UNCTAD is a UN agency. Uh, like the IMF, whenever reports of this nature are compiled, uh, countries are consulted. The IMF has something called ROSC, Report on Standards and Codes, and annually they come to South Africa to come and discuss and uh, do measurements. The point about exports is that it's a very complex area. And uh, supposing that South Africa is uh, under invoicing uh, and reporting that as such uh, is rather irresponsible, particularly if uh, the agencies that deal with numbers in the country have not been discussed, have not been spoken to. That is uh, in the main statistics of Africa because I represent uh, the country uh, globally in terms of statistics at the UN level. And particularly because the mineral statistics or export statistics are imports in other countries. And the reconciliation of those numbers uh, can be very difficult. And uh, we haven't, we know what we have exported. We don't know what the imports are. One of the important things is that to know that uh, imports can actually be accounted uh, there is no, while the commodity itself, there is a one-to-one -one relationship, but in terms of transactions, there is no one, there, is, there can be more than one-to-one -one relationship. At the side of the imports, it can be many uh, relationships. One to, so the exports is one to many. Because when you export, you know what you have exported. But the importer, even before the goods land in the country that is destined to be imported to, they could be redirected to another country. So the other side, the mirror, mirror accounts of your exports can be reflected as two uh, units that have been exported. Now, given that complexity, it's always advisable to go into deeper analysis of these things uh, and rather than uh, put messages that South Africa can be under invoicing. The important point about this is this, that uh, there is a study that has been led by the president, former president of the country, President Becky, on illicit financial flows. This study has been very, very thorough. There is evidence that uh, in excess of $50 billion leave Africa illegally, either through underpricing, transfer pricing, and all kinds of mechanisms. Now, this narrative of South Africa underpricing gold comes in the context of, anyway, the existence of this study. Yet, the UNCTAD has not done a thorough job, including consulting the authorities that deal with numbers in the country. We also know that the environment in South Africa, of course, is the one that uh, there are rating agencies that are coming to shore and they've done something and that and that. And uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm agnostic as to whether South Africa gets a junk status or triple B or triple A, that doesn't matter to me uh, from the perspective of a person who measures uh, the numbers. But whatever the rating is, it has to be driven by a properly constituted process of evaluation. The UNCTAD one is not.